Visuino custom code 0110-1100. Also known as number 108. This one is how to assign pins and read and write data to and from those pins in the custom code component. Potentiometer doesn't matter matter the K value, you just you know ground the positive. Little dinky ass servo speaker and an LED. Or a nano. The wiring is pretty much straightforward. Uh, the servo output is pin 9. Pin 11 is going to the piezo speaker. Pin 13 going through the resistor for the LED. And then analog input 0 for the potentiometer. And again, you can use pretty much any potentiometer of any value because it's basically just a voltage splitter. Okay, and jumping right into it, um, there are two includes that go into the includes portion uh, for the pigeon kicker pitches.h file and also the servo.h file. From the last tutorial, we've added two integers, pot pin and value, pot pin being the analog input pin that the potentiometer is attached to. And on the, the last line there, servo my servo. The member section is where you would call and name a piece of hardware from the includes, like servo or gyro or whatever you need to call up and assign a name. All right, and then the on execute portion of it, the two upper if statements are still playing the melody from the tutorial before, and we've added the four lines at the bottom. Basically, it's just reading the potentiometer pin analog zero remapping it from that to zero to 180 and then it's writing out to my servo that value and then it's going to delay so if you look loaded everything right it's going to play the melody and then when you turn the pot it's going to now remember the delays i was talking about you see that arm how it's kind of jerking that's what the delay on the on execute is doing. It's causing that. So, remember, be careful. It's kind of neat. I'm just turning it a little bit. <laughs> kind of cool to play with. Yay! Um, so it's kind of difficult. It's not hard to get. I'm gonna try that again. Okay, take two. Anyway, uh, this is to show you that you can assign pins and call pins from the custom code. You don't have to output to anything. You can just use the standard, uh, uh, you know, IDE C++ code and do it that way but there are some changes you got to watch for and like i said most of the libraries uh th with the exception of this one or two that the, they're not very compatible and you really have to look into the libraries before you start adding them to the custom code because they can call for like say serial uh software serial hardware serial or something of that nature uh so peace you know you can like share subscribe comment or don't it's all good. Peace.